Hey guys, I am back with episode 3 of Fondle Ma Wii for you, and today I'll be playing Zack and Wiki, Quest for Barbarossa's Treasure. Uh, it was first released for the Wii in October of 2007, and I gotta say it's definitely a hidden gem as the game sold horribly, so we'll probably never see a um, sequel for it. This is a point and click adventure slash puzzle game where you use the Wii Mote to point and click, and uh, also it does gesture motions such as um, pulling levers, turning keys, and even shaking objects on screen. I've actually cut the introduction out because that cuts about four minutes, but I have included it as a separate upload, so if you'd like to see the introduction before you watch this episode, just look in my recent uploads and you will find it. Currently you're watching the basic tutorial of the game. It's basically getting you used to the motion slash gesture controls of the game. As you can see, you can double click using the um, A button with the Wiimote. It allows you to pick up objects and interact with objects throughout the stage. Oh my there will also be icons on the bar above that will allow you to do things such as this, where you can look outside the plane uh, using the uh, camera view. And this is the first time we actually get to use the gesture motion with the uh, Wiimote. You basically click on the lever and basically becomes a hand. And when it does that, you just pull back on the Wiimote and it actually operates the lever. Some people might be turned off by the cutesy graphics and humor, but I've always liked these kind of games. They've always kind of been a guilty pleasure for me. In this portion of the video, Zack is kind of free-falling, and you've got to find something to basically break your fall. And lo and behold, there is a box with an item in it. This basically shows you how to uh, interact with different items in the basically in the environment. Uh, this time it's actually an umbrella and as you can well imagine you'll be opening it up and free falling with the uh, umbrella. Zack and Wiki is definitely one of those games that really wished it would have succeeded as far as sales because this would have been an awesome game uh, to have a sequel because I really really enjoyed playing this game. I've heard Zack and Wiki has over 80 different gestures that you can actually do in the game from, of course, uh, ranging from pulling levers up to playing a flute. Alright, let's get started with the uh, first mission in the game. <laughs> basically how Zack and Wiki works as you're put into the stage and basically you have to overcome obstacles in solving the puzzles of that stage to basically get to the treasure chest at the end of the level. And there, of course, is the treasure chest. <laughs> and in some levels, they're actually timed, in which this case, the wreckage from the ship that fell that you were in is in the um, river, and if you don't complete the level in time, it goes down the waterfall and basically crushes you. 
Of course, the first puzzle is pretty easy. As you know, there's a ravine between you and the treasure chest, and there's a tree here, and as you can well imagine, um, you probably want to try to get that tree down to go across. And this is actually a kind of interesting thing as well, where you actually use Wiki as kind of a weapon. Um, you actually pick him up and shake him at this centipede, and that's how you actually defeat the centipede. And here's something interesting, an actual item, um, the creature became an item, and in this case it's actually a um, centisaw. And as you can well imagine, what you're going to do with the saw now? I know a lot of people don't like the waggling of the Wii mode, as, as people call it, but I actually don't mind it. It actually kind of makes it kind of a uh, neat interaction between you and the game. Um, yeah, that kind of looks dirty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you do. You cut the tree down, and now you're able to get to the treasure chest. And of course it shows you what happens if you wouldn't have completed the level. Uh, the wreckage would have come down on the little small island and would have crushed you. There's also quite a few uh, interesting places you'll be traveling through. First, of course, you'll be in the jungle. Then you travel through uh, a frozen ruin. Then you end up uh, going through a dormant volcano. And at the end, you end up in Barbarossa's castle. And one thing I'd like to know, um, and maybe in even future episodes, if you guys have the games that I've played and don't agree with or do agree with my ratings, let me know. I'd really like to know what you guys thought about some of the games that uh, I played in this series. Alright guys, that's it for this episode of Honda Moe for You. If I had to give a rating for Zack and Wiki, I'd probably give it an A minus because I truly enjoyed playing this game. Um, it's it's very unique, and I kind of like puzzle games, um, especially cutesy ones like this. Next week, check back again on Wednesdays, and I should have another uh, Fondamon Wii episode up again. Thanks, guys.